Hello, I'm Maggie Ravenswing. I just wanted to invite you into my room just for a little bit. Um, I'm decided to change my sheets and make my bed again. Uh, the energy needed to flow and be more relaxing. And I wanted to share with you what it is that I do. Usually when I make my bed, but when I'm remaking my bed as well, definitely. Um, as you know, I am always about how the energy feels and if it's feeling like it's going to flow good or if there's stagnant spots. And one of the things about your bed is it's the most important piece of furniture in your home, hands down. This is where you rest, this is where you rejuvenate, this is where your room is there to help create the sanctuary that you need it to be. Your, it's your safe place. It's, it needs to be calm, stable, relaxing, and able to get you into a comfortable atmosphere to sleep and rejuvenate your body, mind, and soul. Okay? So here's one of the things that I do. I get a nice cheap little spray perfume something that I like, okay? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's expensive or cheap as long as it's something that feels good to you, smells good to you, okay? It doesn't disturb your senses. So I'm down to my mattress protector here on my bamboo mattress, and that and the frame were specifically chosen uh, so that I would be able to connect and ground better while I'm sleeping, okay? Uh, down to the cooling mattress, mattress protector, my sheets, everything. So I'm gonna take my spray and what I do is I spritz and spray the sheet and the mattress protector before making my bed. Excuse me, sorry. I already did the other corners make this part easier. There. Beautiful. A little bit more spray. Now I started to do the pillows already. These are my base pillows. And I did spray them before, but I will do it again. Giving them a blessing to help me be in, at ease and in a comfortable sleep. And my other two pillowcases. Now these pillows, these are cooling pillows because I tend to sleep hot. Thank you, menopause. And I like to spritz these pretty good. Now, if I was just remaking my bed, I would be just spritzing the pillowcase itself. Get this on really quick. When I was shopping for my bed, I realized when I was moving that Although I had a bed and it was a perfectly serviceable bed, it was a twin bed. It was not. It was not the bed that I chose. So I was thinking about it, and I started to think about how how many beds have I slept on in in my entire life? No, seriously, slept. And how many of those beds did I choose? Did I actually put thought into, okay? So I, I did want a canopy bed when I was in my early teens and I got that. Thank you, grandma and grandpa. But it was, it was just the design, it was the style. It wasn't necessarily a lot of knowledgeable thought 
into it and why I wanted it. And I enjoyed it. But the adult me is a little bit different and has a little bit different style. You get the blanket. So I started researching beds. Grab another spray. And I figured out the comfort level that I wanted for my mattress. That I did not want a box spring. I wanted a platform bed. And that was just because of style and comfort. And I started researching, researching the types of mattresses. And that's how I found the bamboo one from Tulo. I it was Tulo. And hold on a minute. awful lot of doggy here on this. Yeah, you. So, I put a lot of thought and research into it and why I wanted it and because bamboo breathes so well and I found it to be a very comfortable mattress when I tested it out at Mattress Firm. And, uh, I decided that for my comfort level, that was what I was going to get. And then after looking months for the style of platform bed that I wanted, the style of bed that I wanted, because the style is essential to the comfort level and what I was seeking, and I found it in a bamboo bed platform by Zinus. Very good reputable company as far as durability, strength, support, security and comfort. It doesn't shift and it was very easy to set up. I did it myself in 20 minutes. 20 minutes I set up the bed frame for this. It's really nice. So so you got to research a lot of it and just, just try and figure out what it is that's going to make you happy, make you feel really good. I'm going to pop over to the other side. I'm going to straighten out the blanket here, so I'll hang on. <coughs> yeah, there we go. I had to step around the dog. It's a microfiber blanket, so it doesn't move a whole lot. It kind of stays in place, but I really like it. Because another thing about sleep is, and comfort in your room, is being aware if you are a, a tactile person, which I've discovered that I am, and uh, a lot of times it's about how the fabric feels against me when I'm wearing it, and how it feels against me when I'm sleeping in it. I just recently got flannel sheets again, which... If you've not slept on flannel sheets, you are missing out. It's great. <clears throat> so now I've got the blanket in place. I'm going to give it one last little squirt. And now I'm moving on to the comforter and the extra pillows. Hold on. When I take my comforter off, I roll it up. I bring it from the top down to the foot because I don't sleep with it. And then I take 
that folded edge is like tri-folded then. And then I fold it up and up and up again. So all I have to do is unroll it and put it on. And this is all part of the ritual of making your bed a place that you will enjoy coming back to and getting ready to sleep. I come in and find myself looking at my bed and just like, what else can I do to just make it pop and make it, make it comfortable sanctuary, you know? Because a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people have had issues concerning beds and that's that's sad. That's something that we need to we need to straighten out and and fix. Because that's disturbing their mental health. That's disturbing their sleep and their rest. And it's it's not a good thing. People need to be balanced and they need to be grounded and and get their essential rest. It's we sleep what? A quarter of our lives. A quarter of your life. So I'm 56 years old. So let me see. Half brings me down to 25, approximately 20, 26, and then <coughs> shit. What? 12? 10? Approximately 10 to 12 years of my life has been spent sleeping. I'm going to make it the best one I can. Okay. Throw a blanket. My stash of pillows. And then I've got the secondary stash up here too. So, like everything else, giving you all a little freshening spritz. Because some of these pillows are used and some are displayed, but they still all get, you know, can get a little funky. I've had this one a long time. And there's usually a pattern that I follow as far as putting these up and, hang on a second. My little ones, these came with the comforter. So, they get used the least amount, purely decorative. Yeah. Okay. And the throw blanket, I got this at Dollar General. This, I adore. This is that nice little decadent touch that works with the tactile sensation because it's so soft and so silky. I love it. And with this, I just give it a little flip. And yes, I will show you my bed because I'm almost done. Trying to step over the dog here. So, there you go. Oh, wait. One last little touch that I just unpacked recently because I'm trying to set the mood for comfort and sleep and grounding and security but because the bed is also an extension of uh, me you gotta add a little romantic flares something as simple as this watch there you go
such a beautiful little thing. Just kind of sets the mood right there. So, I'm going to leave you with this final thought. If this bed is a place that you come back to that is not making you feel secure, then you've got to change something about it. You've got to find yourself, find your little touches, things that make you happy. And you've got to find where you can sleep. And I decided quite a while ago that I would not sleep with someone that I did not feel comfortable sleeping with. Because it's in this security, this comfort, that I find peace. So, I'm not trying to be picky, I'm just trying to feel good. Self-care is very important. Make sure you do it. Make sure that you take care of yourself in all the little ways that you possibly can. And get your sleep. Find where your comfort is. Find where you can sleep and be secure. And you will find a huge huge change in how you feel daily your energy will be better your mood will be better you're going to feel amazing blessings and peace in Maggie Ravenswing out <laughs>